and welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Azorius Law. All right, this is our uh, next deck that we're going to try out here over in Mythic, um, where we're going to try um, Rule of Law and kind of building a deck around this card. So let's see this card. So Rule of Law, three man enchantment. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. We've played uh, we played an Esper Law deck before um, about a month, month and a half ago, something like that. Um, but I think this could be a good time to kind of bring back Rule of Law. So the reason why is the two real big decks in the format they, that uh, you need to be metagaming against right now are Fires of Invention and the Food decks and the Trail of Crumbs decks. So it's, it's all about Fires of Invention and Trail of Crumbs. Um, those are really the, the two biggest strategies and the two most successful strategies right now. And I think Rule of Law could be really good against both of them. First, it's pretty obvious against Fires of Invention, right? Like, Fire says that you can cast two spells a turn. Rule of Law says, no, you can only cast one spell a turn. So we kind of um, really make Fires of Invention not as powerful. And plus, they cannot cast spells on our turn because Fires of Invention doesn't let them uh, play spells on the opponent's turn. So we get to, like, play a spell on our turn, and then we can also play a spell on our opponent's turn as well. So we can play basically play two spells per turn cycle. They can only play one spell per turn cycle. And then with the um, with the Trailer Crumbs decks, those decks are have have just a whole lot of cheap cards. They're trying to play a lot of stuff a turn, you know, like especially later on in the game with all their card advantage. You know, like they have like the Gilded Gooses and Cauldron Familiars, Witches Ovens, Trailer Crumbs. All that stuff's really cheap. And so if you only let them play one spell a turn, they can just get stuck with a lot of cards in hand. It doesn't matter how much card advantage they have if they can only play just their one spell. Um both those decks and especially the the trailer crumbs decks have answers to rule of law you know they play like you know Vraska golgari queens and things like that but if we can get it down and, and protect it hopefully it works out pretty well um so the the way to make rule of law work really well for us is since my opponent can only play one spell what we want to be able to do is just be able to counter that spell so counter spells are are very valuable now we can't really fit just tons and tons of counter spells in though, at least main uh, main board. So we have we have two sabotage, two absorb, the three vetoes, and two quench. Quench is not very valuable with it's not as valuable with rule of law because since they can only play one spell, if they play something, they can easily just use the extra mana, and that's not a big deal. But so we just got the two quenches though to try to slow stuff down because you need uh, need the two mana interaction. But uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully we can get to like the point in the game like where we have rule of law in play. Um, we have like a Jace or Teferi in play, um, like where we're drawing extra cards and we can start getting, you know, acquiring these counter spells. So they can only play their one spell. We can counter it. And then on our turn, you know, we can, um, you know, play Chemistress Inside or, you know, like, uh, again, Jace, Teferi, things like that. We can play stuff on our turn to draw cards and then go to their turn, counter their one thing and then go back to us. That's kind of the point of our deck. That's what we're going to be trying to do. Um, sideboard uh, against all the the black red uh, aggro decks, we got four devout decrees like for the different uh, for those different aggro decks. Uh, got some disenchants for the trail of crumbs decks, and of course fires as well. More counter spells in the sideboard with some disdainful strokes. Um, the fourth veto and a negate. Um, we got the fourth prison realm. We need these prison realms because of our opponents to fairies. Teferi is obviously going to be a, a problematic card because then we can't play spells during their turn. And we really want to play spells during their turn. So we have four Prison Realms overall to give us more things to get rid of Teferi. Um, an extra, a fifth sweeper against creature decks. So we got a Realm Cloak Giant in here for a fifth sweeper. And I'm going to try playing a Kenrith mostly for the aggro matchups because they'll be taking out their removal um, games two and three. So then we bring in Kenrith. That's a really good blocker as a 5-5. Five -five. But they can also gain a lot of life um, if we want. That gets a good way to use our mana with gaining life. Obviously, we can draw cards, too, if we have extra mana. And we can pick it up with Time Wipe for a Sweeper. So force them to overextend to try to get, to go th um, around Kenrith. And then we Time Wipe. That's the game plan there. Hey, Munchies. Thanks for staying on that second streak. Or the second month streak there. Okay, so that's that's the game plan with this deck. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's what we're kind of doing today. We're, you know, fires and food are the two big things in the metagame right now. And we're um, kind of like took some time today to design some some decks that I think could do good against fires and food and 
try them out. So let's see how they do. So we'll probably play about four matches. We'll play like around an hour and a half. To try to get the other decks into. Yeah, 26 lands. That's good. I can no longer stand by and walk. Let's try this. All right, Teferi helps out. I'll protect you. Yeah, it looks like is it flash? Hmm, that does not look like is it flash. Well, you need to play three spells to to get Arclight Phoenix back, right? You need three spells. So how many can you play? One? Hmm. It's not quite three. <laughs> Rule of law with the scoop. <laughs> well, you... You can only play one spell. So is that... Is that going to get Phoenix back? Uh, yeah, I, I I do like Mardu enchantments. I haven't tried it since the Oko ban. Um, but yeah, I do like a lot of Mardu enchantment stuff. I, again, uh, stopping fi or stopping Jeskai fires would, is going to be the tough part with Mardu enchantments. But yeah, I, I like... Definitely like that kind of deck. Okay. So let's bring in bring in devout decrees. Is that just gonna be a better prison realm? Bring in more counter spells. Maybe cut all these time wipes. May not need time wipe like at all. Kenrith would probably be pretty good. I'll try playing a Kenrith. You play Sahelia's. Like, do you have. Um, you could put a Blast Zone just on, on your mana base to destroy Deafening Silence. Ugh. I like having lots of lands. I think we have to mulligan though. Yeah, Grim, try you could have Blast Zone for one of your lands. Okay, so this is different than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, so my opponent's playing the mono blue dredge deck. If I were them, I would have been just milling me. If I were them. I think, you know, against the slow blue-white control deck, I, I would have just... Like, they could have milled me with a bunch of cards.
So yeah, so yeah, basically, so you need a blue red card and Ixalan forward. Yeah, basically to kill Bla uh, Deafening Silence. Just, I think your only options are are Blast Zone and then Bounce Spells. I think that's all, that's your only options. They're getting three phoenixes back there. I can't deal with three phoenixes. All right, so they're playing that deck. So we definitely need these disenchants. I don't really need Kenrith. Um, I don't. I don't think the three finale is is overkill because it allows having three finale allows you to fire them off earlier in the game too, and just you know like fire them off at you know five mana and make three creatures. That um, you know you don't have to just sit around and wait with the finale in your hand and wait until it's going to be a um, you know basically a, a lethal card. It allows you to have more interaction. You don't have to be worried about wasting your only finale. It's just not a very good hand. Like the Dovin's Veto is awesome. <clears throat> I really don't like having these three hand these three cards in my opener. We basically have three lands and a veto. I like this more. We gotta be able to counter Drown Secrets. So even though I may not be able to play Teferi next turn, gotta counter that card. Big game there with that mystical dispute. Oh no, they have another drowned secrets too. Oh, that was just the worst case scenario for me. Dispute into drowned secrets. Got really punished for playing that fairy. Really punished. Yeah, memes. That's what. Yeah, I I saw that list and and liked some of the stuff I had going on there. Wow, and then double Phoenix. Man, I I just threw this game away by playing that Teferi. That's rough. Well, 
Well, hopefully we draw land. We're about to take nine here. And hope they don't have three more spells, which is why I countered I countered the opt there to make it not as easy for them to have three more spells to be able to play. It's lethal. Man, that I mean I just I just threw that away by playing the Teferi. My opponent had the worst possible scenario with Mystical Dispute into a second Drown Secrets. So. That's the thing about magic. You can't, you can't make mistakes like that. Hey, Boo. Oh yeah, my, my opponent's hand was, was pretty perfect, but I I didn't play around them from ha I could have played around them having the perfects and I, I didn't. This could be ugly. Yeah, this is not a good hand against Tournament Grounds. Could be ugly. Certainly considering just scooping and going to game two. No, I guess we'll... We'll go with that. So, like, they wouldn't have the ability to really sideboard with knowing what I'm doing. I mean, I, this is just over. Bleh. This is why I have the four devout decree in the sideboard and everything. I knew this was going to be a tough matchup game one, for how I had my my deck built. So rule of law can still slow them down. Don't think that's necessary though. It's either taking out a Jace or a Teferi. Take out a Teferi. Nah, Jace. Uh, we lost the Mono Blue Phoenix, the previous one. I. Really regret how I mulliganed and played games two and three. I think that should be a good matchup for us, but oh well. This is Dragon Whelp. This is a card, MTG card, Dragon Whelp.
Oh, that card hits hard. All right, got that thing out of here. Ooh, Castle Ardenvale's real good. Make those extra 1-1s. One yeah, and that's... Yeah, this castle's gonna be really good. That'll do. So I can devout decree and make a 1-1 one -one here. And play Tranquil Cove and gain a life. So we'll get rid of this castle. Here goes nothing. I can of course just just make a 1-1 one -one and, and chump block though also. I could have instant speed devout decreed, but we didn't really need the scry. Because I knew I liked I've what we had you. going on. I don't need that card. Get rid of that. Don't worry, I got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're going to game three. Hopefully they don't have the same kind of start they just had with the, you know, the double, double one drop, double drill bit. I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat that on the draw. Yeah, our chances of playing second is going to be kind of tough here. But we have we have six two mana removal spells with four devout decree, two glass casket, and then we have the four prison realms, um, and then uh, then our five sweepers, of course. So hopefully, all these devout decrees, hopefully playing four devout decree, helps me out. 
Please don't have drill bit. Just don't have drill bit. Okay. Good, not drill bit. It's not a bad card. I think I need to find a sweeper. Rude. Yeah, because yeah, that life gain can be could could have been pretty important too. That was a tough one. I think I can just shock in and hold up Sinister Sabotage, even though they can they have devastating three drops. These fervent champions. Well, it was attacking for three. Now I mean now is only doing two. But yeah, that's, this is too good of a hand. Going one drop, then one drop, one drop, and then discard instant speed two drop. That's brutal. Okay. That was a great draw. Maybe we can stabilize. If I if I fetch all I'm doing is shuffling those two cards back that I don't really want to draw right now. Come on, sweeper. Wow. What a great call not to not to fetch. It's not over at all. They have all those devastating three drops. Hopefully they don't have one. Oh, castle's a great card to have. Hey, Rackle Guru. Kenrith gain life. Hopefully we draw a land here and I can hold up, I can have like the target player gains five life and sabotage. This is why I have the, the one Kenrith in the sideboard. Kenny G. And we drew the land. Oh man, we are just drawing. We are drawing well. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's how magic goes. I think the I think the mono blue deck was a, a pretty good matchup for us, and I think that one's a pretty tough matchup for us. And we win that one, and we lose the other one. That's how magic goes. GG's. We drew that time wipe right, right on time. The goose. All right, so they're definitely like the only people playing goose these days are you know people playing 
Cauldron's familiar. That's what it feels like. The real question is if I wanted to slam... So yes, yeah, so, alright, so they're going to be Jund. Do I want to slam Rule of Law or... Hold up Absorb. I think I hold up Absorb. If I play Rule of Law, they could just play Golgari Queen this next turn. Hmm. Alright, never mind. This is a different deck. I don't I don't even know if I'm really supposed to be countering that because we have the rule of law. Like I I'm not really sure. Honestly. Play that main phase, so if we hit a land drop, could have played it. So it is Cauldron Familiar. They're just playing Fires of Invention as well. I would usually mill my opponent. I don't know if I want to mill Cauldron Familiars over, though. Eh, whatever. We'll mill him. Basic planes. We got rid of a witch's oven, that's good. Alright, but now I wanted to slam the Jace to try to, you know, be able to help to be able to hit land drops consistently. Ah, uh, devastating. That's devastating. My other option, which I probably should have done, I mean, obviously I should have done, my other option was just Glass Casket, uh, one of these, and then hold up Veto. Okay, Str Strasky made this deck. Yeah, I hadn't seen this deck before. Doesn't seem like a very good Nemiza deck. I need more lands. That Casualties of War was really devastating. Now I gotta find removal for this niv mizzet so even though it would be nice to be able to play Rule of Law. Can't, I gotta find removal for niv mizzet Mm. 
No sweeper. So last chance is like a Teferi. It's not really even going to work. All right, so disenchant, that's an easy one. Um, I feel pretty good. I mean, it was really just that, that one play, like, the magic is tough, you know? Like, I, I play the Jace to try to hit more land drops, but if I just don't play the Jace there, I honestly think that we would have been just fine if I just didn't play that Jace, if I would have just held up. Counter spell for casualties of war. My casualties was brutal. Oh, right, I have prison realm. Oh, I could have chemistry's insight for prison realm. Prison realm, we may have been able to stay alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw what they just did, Joker. This is tough because I honestly like all these cards here. Marina's being really slow. I'm going to try taking out to fairies. No, I haven't made any Orzhov token deck. No, I haven't done anything like that. Hey, 27. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Our 12th sub of the day. Looks like I was behind one again. This would be a great planar cleansing matchup. I thought about playing a planar cleansing in the sideboard, but with a, with me playing uh, the enchantment removal, I didn't do it. But this would be a great. This would be a great planar cleansing matchup. All right, Kenrith, be, be my clock.
Yep, I couldn't stop them from doing this. We can time wipe away the Mayhem Devils, though. <laughs> this is Kenrith House, House Baratheon. Oh, right. Well, that was dumb of me. Took two damage for no reason, obviously. Yeah, whoops. If they have Niv Mizzet, they'll be able to play Niv Mizzet. Um, you know, like, with them, you know, getting, like, you know, these Fable Passage, they got they got the mana for Niv Mizzet. Hopefully they don't have Niv Mizzet, though. Dress is a good one. Could hit Chemister's Insight. And obviously, if I mill them over, I could hit Cauldron Familiar, which would be bad. Yeah, I'd rather take two damage than manually tap. <laughs> Dang. Is that four? That's four. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. I can double activate these castles. They can they can pop this food to kill one. But I have another castle. Well, darn. So we got a Cinder Vines and a Casualties.
This will come in handy. Uh, this is the problem with targeting yourself. I've just been milling over so many good cards. Bleh. The Jace let me down. I guess it'd be interesting to see what that game looked like if I was targeting my opponent, because I just kept on drawing, you know, cards I didn't want and kept milling over all the cards I wanted. I probably milled over like six or seven cards that I wanted to draw. Obviously if we mill them we're risking cauldron familiar, but maybe that's just not that much of a risk. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I like always, always try to target my opponent with called with uh, Jace. I did that game, and that cost me. So, lesson learned. Um, our big thing that we could have milled over was, of course, Chemister's Insight that whole time when I was doing it, but we didn't. So lesson learned. Is it okay? Yeah, you can you can play four prison realm. <sighs> All right, let's try this again. Hey, Kronos, welcome from Brazil. We all having a good, a good uh, Tuesday. All right, so we'll give this a try. We have, we have lands, so that's a good first start. And we have one removal spell, which we'll be using on this here, gutter bones.
<laughs> the dragon's all excited with that glass casket. I. They could have another Rampage, you know, just another removal spell for Jace, but if not, um, you know, again, just the, the longer we could keep Jace on the, in play, the better. Uh, this one, I will remember. Let's try this. All right, so Jace is doing good this time, milling our opponent. We've milled over, you know, just milled over a Cavalier of Night and a Mayhem Devil. Yeah, got to get rid of the Switch's Oven. And we drew a couple of good cards. Yeah, I know, yeah, milling, Gutter Bones, Cat Deck, not a great idea. I think I learned that... I think I've kind of decided I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't mind too much. Got our bones, cauldron familiars. I think I can handle those. But the milling, uh, milling over my answers that I need that we did that last game that really hurt. Not attacking with priest. I could activate Castle Ardenvale to block. Ooh, I like it. Good form. Good form. Oh, that's a little annoying. Keep. At least it seems like we have a pretty good sideboard plan against these red black decks. It would be nice to to have Trust me. to have that counter spell to protect Kenrith, no, but Midnight Reaper is a good enough card. I think it's worth using. 
<laughs> yeah, they had good form with, with using that Castle Lembreth. I liked it. We had some timely counter spells for sure, countering two Midnight Reapers and a Witch's Oven. All right, I'm going to play two Disenchants over the two Quenches on the draw. Not expecting Quench to be able to counter stuff for too long. Yeah, the, the, this, this one Kenrith has been really good. This is risky. We're going to have to draw white spells. I like that we're keeping good mana, though. And they were on a mulligan anyway. Okay, we've not drawn white spells yet. Still have not drawn white spells. Then the deck. Then the deck. I'm always a step ahead. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Good job, Jace. Dreadhorde Butcher, Witch's Oven. I don't want to see those cards. Duress. I don't see that card either. Supposed to hurt. Chemist is in sight. Darn. They didn't take the insight. Hmm. This. This isn't great. I guess we just play this thing. When I kept this, I was hoping that we were going to draw some of our four Devout Decree, four Prison Realm, two... I'll have to arrange um... Uh... Let's name the card. Glass Casket. Like one of those ten spells. That was not supposed to happen. We have not though. 
Not yet, at least. So there goes Kenrith. I need to find Disenchant. Ah, well played. Getting another white spell. We got a couple Disenchants in here. We need to draw that. Now we've got a fight on our hands. Uh, geez, with that Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe I should have just played the Chemist's Insight here instead of playing the Kenrith. I definitely thought about that. This was the, the worst case scenario with playing the Kenrith. Now I just don't have extra... Don't have that, those extra cards. lethal. They just have to attack me for two, play play the Mayhem Devil. I'm dead. Hmm. Alright, well, that was me not mulliganing. That's why we lost that one. I didn't mulligan. Yeah, I, I thought we could draw into some of those ten white spells, but we just didn't. We just drew a bunch of lands. They hit that duress the right time also, right before I was going to be able to time wipe. That was a really good duress hit. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. All right, so we won one in three there. Uh, I don't think the deck felt that bad, though. Like, our, our matches were pretty close that we were losing, and, you know, different decisions here or there could have really made a big difference. Um, you know, like, the first one that we lost, I think, was, an, was just a really great matchup for us, but... My opponent had really good hands, and I made a really bad Teferi decision. Um, the second the second one that we lost uh, was because I, I was ticking up on me instead of my opponent on Jace. And then that third one that we lost, I needed to mulligan. So it's a tough game, and um, it's all, you know, like, learning is always really good. It's good to learn. I, I feel like if we would run back those same four matchups, we'd have a lot better chance if we'd run back, like, the, those exact same four decks that we just played against. Um could have definitely lost the second one though too so you know like it's just it's all just so close um i have to say i we didn't really get to do anything with rule of law too much um you know yeah we didn't get to really do too much with rule of law i kind of wish i had more three mana counters more hard counters i wish i didn't have to play prison realm because of teferi I basically have to play this card because of Teferi. If it wasn't, it wasn't, if it wasn't for my opponents having Teferi, I just wouldn't play Prison Realm at all. I would get rid of these quenches and I'd play like six or seven three mana counter spells and then play just more two mana removal and just get rid of Prison Realms and we could have you know like more glass caskets and three mana counters and you know be able to switch you know be able, be able to flip those. But we just have to play Prison Realm to, to get rid of opponents Teferi. Yeah, people were really, really ready for the enchantments right now. Yeah, that was that was definitely a, a problem. Um, so yeah, may, maybe maybe going this angle with rule of law isn't where we want to be because of how many people are ready for enchantments. That could be a thing. That's that's definitely uh, definitely a possibility there. Um, The Kenrith was really good in the in the sideboard. Could see just playing a second Kenrith instead of this Realm Cloak Giant instead of a second Sweeper, just playing a second Kenrith. I think yeah, I think that's what I'd do. I I did like that Kenrith quite a bit. Um, the the insights and Jaces were kind of awkward. I mean, honestly, I think it kind of felt like it kind of felt like the Jaces were pretty bad, honestly. Like whenever I was ca I was casting Jace, if I would have just been casting Chemisters inside, I may have been in a better spot. Because my opponent just my opponents just kind of always had and or drew 
a good answer for Jason. I wasn't drawing enough cards. Um, last time that we played this deck, I did not I did not have Jace, and I had four insight, and I had two precognitive perception, so that we could play you know play more instants. I could definitely see just doing that. Because milling my opponent, I don't want to mill myself, and milling my opponent didn't really seem that valuable either with all these um, Cauldron Familiar decks. So, what, like, I didn't really want to be milling my opponent either. So, in that respect, Jace was pretty awkward and it wasn't drawing enough cards. Yeah, planar. So, yeah, planar cleansing. Planar Cleansing is definitely a good card, but to play Planar Cleansing, I think you have to move away from Rule of Law. You you can definitely do Blue-White Control with Planar Cleansing, but we just have to move away from Rule of Law and then move away from Prison Realm and Glass Casket. You know, you have to, you have to just move away from these enchantments to play Planar Cleansing. So you have, you have to switch your deck up, but I think that you can definitely do Blue-White Planar Cleansing, and maybe that's the way to go with, with Blue-White, because Planar Cleansing does seem like a really good card right now. But there we go. That's Azorius Law. So I think I think I would take out the Jaces for precognitive perceptions for the next time. Because um, yeah, a couple of times like us playing Jace, I didn't get to hold up counter magic because I played Jace, and things like that. So yeah, let's just play precognitive perception. You want to have with rule of law. You want to have uh, you want to have a good amount of instants because you can only play one spell each turn. So you you want to be able to play a spell during your turn and play a spell during your opponent's turn. So the more instants that you have that you can play during your opponent's turn, the better. All right, so a couple of small little changes there. Um, all right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck. Uh, hope, you, hope you learned a lot from uh, some of the, the lines that I was taking that didn't end up uh, working out, you know, like how I learned there too. And uh, hopefully like these these little changes helps help you out as well. Uh, but yeah, give this deck a try. Let me know how it's going. Uh, if you're playing it, um, Let you know, leave a comment over on YouTube for Azorius Law here though. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.